Welcome, Internet, to Shiver City. Oh, it's so beautiful. And there are penguins everywhere. I saw this really bizarre guy around here the other day. He was shouting like, Oh! Or, it's freezing! And he was also going, No, Mario! Who was that nut? Starborn Valley? Oh, sure. Go east from this city. But you have to be careful. I have it on good faith that we're, there are lots of scary monsters between here and there. The thought makes me shiver. Seems like all I hear these days are frightening rumors. What's Shiver City coming to? Huh. We should check that out. When you hear about Shiver City, ice skating's the first thing that comes to mind. Well, skiing's nice too, but not when a monster's loose. It's scary out in the snow, so city skating, we will go. Yeah, yeah. I'm the city guard around here. I'm investigating a report of a suspicious character wandering around the city. You. You're not him, are you? Starborn Valley's a little ways off from this city. It's a very mysterious place. They say that star kids rise up from the sky or do from there. But I haven't seen any stars rising to the sky lately. Empty house? Okay. Say skating. I love sliding on the ice. Wish! So much fun. How about you? Wanna join me? I really love sliding around in the snow. Pingy, penny, penny palm. Snow is falling all day long. Skate or spin or sing a song. Wow! Hey, do be say, wave on say. Oh, I think I'd better practice. What are you doing? Stop that! Have you lost your wits? What if the ice breaks? No! Are you a complete idiot? I told you not to do that! That's really dangerous! <laughs> Don't you ever listen! You're a public nuisance! Take a hike! Ow! <laughs> well, alright then! I've actually never had that happen before. And then the ice regrows. I heard that a horrible monster lives at the end of this path. Everyone is so scared of it that they don't leave the city. Why can't we have peace? I wish there were no monsters. We're on alert because a stranger appeared in the city. So I can't let you pass without permission from the mayor. Alright. Let's find the mayor and get his permission. Yeah, let's check out the shop. Snowman dolls are cheap. Whoa, shooting stars are a lot. Welcome to Shiver Shop. How can I help you today? Alright. Actually, nah, I won't claim anything. Come chill out anytime. We should probably take a nap. The Toad House slogan is refresh your body and soul. Do you want to take a nap? Yes, I do. Sleep well. Did you have a good nap? Good luck to you. And if you take a nap here, you get a nice potato on the table. A tough potato found in the Shiver region. Restores 5 HP. We'll be using that. So we've been in the item shop. Random dude in here. Starborn Valley and Shiver Mountain are both near here. But you'd better dress warmly if you plan on reaching them. Thanks, dude. Hey, it's Chuck Gizmo! Kawiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Gizmo! Let's go to the question. Question! When you want Tasty, who loves cooking to make lemon candy, what do you have to give her besides a lemon? Cake mix. Correct! I'll give you a star piece, though. You've correctly answered 31 questions! Almost halfway there. Whoa! Living on a prayer. Thank you. People who travel from here from other towns must think that this city's freezing cold. I'm used to it. I heard, though, that somewhere in the world there's a hot town covered in sand. Now that would be intolerable. I don't believe it even exists. I've been there, dude. 
A really shady individual came to the city recently. He was screaming at the top of his lungs and running around. It was really odd, but I think something strange is going on in our peaceful city. Oh, we have a guest! Welcome! You poor man, you must be freezing. If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please go right in. She's the wife of Mayor Penguin, who's the mayor of Shiver City. She has a bit of problem with exaggeration. She loves mystery novels and longs to be a great detective. The way I see it, she's a bit too flighty to be a, a detective. You, however, I think you'd make a great sleuth, Mario. No reply. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a memo in his hand that says, Herringway. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh, dear, you know you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. No! Help somebody! Anybody! My husband's dead! He's been murdered! It's a penguin murder mystery! Oh, I love this ominous music. What's going on here, madam? Just calm down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. Uh-oh. It's him. He doesn't like us. My husband is dead! Look at him lying there! Oh, my darling husband! Someone clipped his flippers! By Puffin, you're right! The mayor's been murdered! This is like a mystery novel! Except it's real! How tragic! But madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have reason to put this penguin on ice? Him! Right there! That man with the suspicious mustache! I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in! You welcomed me! My husband was alive right up until this man showed up! That is true. He must be the murderer! Hey you, mustache! Are you listening? This good woman's accusing you! What do you have to say for yourself? Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We've got a witness here. Isn't that right, madam? Yes, that's right! He did it in cold blood! I, uh, saw it with my own eyes! Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up! So you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. What's your problem? You don't actually think Mario did it, do you? Hmm, if you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with a backroom murder case. Oh, I never trained for this. A backroom murder case. A high-ranking penguin slain. How could such a horrible plot twist appear at our peaceful city? You, Mr. Mustache, once for the record, you swear you didn't do this. Okay, I think I believe you, but this means you have to find the true murderer. Ah, perfect! I'll give you a chance. Since you claim that you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. Alright, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to leave the city. This is the mayor of Shiver City, Mayor Penguin. He's a good friend of Herringway, another penguin. Everyone in the village relies on him. He's a little absent-minded, but he does his job well. I know I've seen him in Toad Town before. I wonder if he's ever been to the castle. Ever seen him before, Mario? He's the Penguin Patrol, Guardian of the City! He does an adequate job as an investigator, but I wouldn't count on his skills too much. When trouble arises, I think that Mario's the best man for the job. Some of the best music in the game right here. Mayor Penguin was murdered! In his back room, and no one has the slightest idea who did it! Oh, we can't be! It's like we're in one of Herringway's mystery novels! How could such a terrible thing happen in such a small, peaceful city? Who could do such a thing? The mayor's wife said the man with the mustache did it. And he seemed to be such a gentleman, too. Still, I guess you shouldn't tr trust anyone who carries such a huge hammer. <laughs> Brr, how terrifying! Just goes to show you, you should never trust your first impression of people. <laughs> Hope you got the star piece before then. Seriously, this music is amazing. Herringway? Yes, of course I know him. Everyone in the city knows about him. He's a world-famous mystery novelist. You think Herringway killed Mayor Penguin? Huh, that sounds nuts, but... You might be onto something. Herringway does know everything about crimes and criminals. And he seems to have mysteriously disappeared. Interesting. So if we jump up all this area... We're on the roof slats. We can jump over here.
And we get the Attack FX E badge! Changes the sound effects of Mario's attacking. This is my favorite Attack FX badge. There we go. Makes the Yoshi sound. Yep, he's blocking the pipe. You'd better show some evidence if you're really not the one who murdered Mayor Penguin. Until you do, I'm sorry, but I can't let you leave the city. I won't budge from this spot. Oh no siree. I'm serious now. There's no use trying to move me. Am I being too rude? Sorry. Well, you know, now that the Penguin Patrol is not here... Hehehe. <laughs> I SAID! I don't talk to penguin killers. What a butt. There's no evidence that I did it. And we get the warehouse key. I'm sure uh, Sushi's cold, so let's get out Bombay. She's cute. I've said that before. The ice on the lake broke! We were just about to go ice skating! No! This is totally unfair! I was so looking forward to skating all day long! I feel bad now. Huh, interesting. Woo, I like that. What in the? Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room through the chimney. Ingenious. This penguin made a secret room in his house to hide in. What a cool idea! He's a friend of Mayor Penguin. His name is Herringway, and he writes mystery novels. His secret study where he writes his novels is on the second floor. I imagine that he has lots of fans in this city, so I can see why he'd need a secret room. I wouldn't mind reading one of his novels someday. Me? I'm Herringway, the novelist. Haven't you heard of me? What? Mayor Penguin was murdered? And I'm the chief suspect? You must be joking! That's ridiculous! I did no such thing. You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. It appears as though I would drop in on the mayor's house. Engage stairs! Alright then, come on, let's go to the mayor's house. Seriously, this music is perfect for, like, murder in a snow area. No, I want Chuck Gizmo! Aw, no Chuck Gizmo. Sorry, I don't give quizzes to murderers! <laughs> Let's get to the bottom of this case right now! Oh, you again. Have you come up with anything? Hmm? Say, isn't that penguin behind you the mystery novel writer named Hen Herringway? What? What? Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway written on it? Bah, if that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. Hmm, he definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yes, of course! It's a message about his death! With his last breath, the mayor told us the murderer's identity! So, Mr. Herringway, you cold-hearted murderer! It all makes sense now! No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful! You live out your own plots! Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine! Yes, yes, you were good friends. Aha, but that was just a cover so that no one would suspect you of this heinous crime. That's it, isn't it? I've solved this crafty mystery. Oh, come on, really. You simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working in my house on my new novel for weeks. I didn't have time to sneak over here to kill Mayor Penguin. I'd just like to say that I still think this man with the mustache is the murderer. Hmm, this penguin murder mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. Ugh.
Oh my aching. Ouch. Eek! My husband's returned! He's a ghost! Eek! Oh good gracious! Hello everyone! What's going on here? What? what Mayor? I, we thought you were dead! Our back room murder mystery is a wash! What a plot twist! Huh? What are you talking about? Um... I think... I seem to remember going to the shelf to get the souvenir for Herringway. Oh yes, of course! I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yes, that's what happened. Here you are, Herringway! This is what I was reaching for. Toad Town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. Well, uh, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. But Mayor, we were thinking that you'd been murdered! The whole city was up in arms! Next time, be more careful! Ah, yes, so sorry. Haha, <laughs> I thought it rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything's okay now, the Mayor's just fine. I must return to my home now. I believe I've just had an idea for the sequel to my new novel. Um, I have the best intentions, but for some reason I always end up causing a ruckus. Hello, sorry all about all that. I must apologize. Say, you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to Shiver City, Jewel of the North. What's the matter? Oh, you want to hike over to Starborn Valley, do you? I see, of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you out of the city. You'd better bundle up. Please come back any time. These northern lands aren't much for scenery, but there's always plenty of suspense. <laughs> only joking, only joking. You'll always get a warm welcome around here. Uh, I knew you were innocent the whole time. A backroom murder case? Please, how completely silly. That overzealous guard must read too many mystery novels. <laughs> anyway... Uh-huh. Alright, well, now we can leave Shiver City. Oh, hey, now, does he say anything about the broken ice? For Puffin's sake, the mayor's wife is an alarmist. Although I bet everyone involved in that case would agree that det my detective work was perfect. <laughs> Oh, okay, the mayor said it's okay for you to go through. Excellent. Thank you. We still never did learn about who the weird stranger was, though. Who actually caused all the ruckus. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Brr, I've been waiting for you, Mario! I've been here forever! I was getting desperate! I thought I was gonna freeze! This place is freezing and cold and nasty and icy! I hate it! I can't take it anymore! I gotta get out of here! I'm going to beat you up in record time and head back to someplace warm. You ready, Ice Boy? Let's do it! It was Junior Trooper the whole time. Oh, I've been busy, Mario. I've learned cool techniques. Check this out! Aha! Look at this piece of work. I've been taking a little magic course on the side, and now you're going to be my final exam. Yeah, I'm going to win this time. damage. Excellent. It's Junior Troopa! I'm stunned! Really? This guy will just not quit! Max HP- Oh, only 50 health? I thought he had like 60. Attack power 8, defense power 1. He's obviously been training. It seems he can use magic now. <sighs> Let's get this over with. He's hard to defend against now. Mario, you like magic tricks? You won't like this one! Hey. Whoa, that came out way faster than I was expecting. <laughs> that felt fantastic. I just keep on getting better. All right, what? Hey, yeah. You gotta do it before, well before the spell hits you if you want to defend against it. Alright, Junior Troop is not so hard.
Woo! 23 star points. No! No, 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 no! Junior Trooper, you gotta stop this nonsense. Seriously. Ooh. Yes, please. Also, a nice little secret here. It's a letter to Mayor Penguin in Shiver City. How grand. And that's right near here. It's a snowman. It's a snowman. It's a snowman. Yep. Some of them don't look uh, the, the same, though. Alright. Ooh, I love this place. Shiver, the Shiver region is just beautiful. However, it's got very tough enemies. Oh my! This is a Frost Piranha. Frost Piranhas are frozen piranha plants. Max HP 10, attack power 4, defense power 0. They actually have less HP than putrid piranhas, but more attack power. They'll try to freeze you with their icy breath. You'll be at their mercy if they freeze you, so you better try to immobilize them right away. At ice attacks won't work. They love ice. Fire attacks, though. Cool. So believe it or not, I am actually going to use Chill Out here. Because I do not want to take a lot of damage. Ow. Whew. Ouch. Yeah, okay, so more on these guys. This is a gulpit. Whoa! Gulpits look pretty burly, don't they? Max HP 12, attack power 2, defense power 0. Gulpits attack by picking rocks up in their mouths and then spinning them back out. The bigger the rock they spit, the more damage you'll take. Big rocks take 7 HP in damage and small ones take 5 HP. They can't do much damage without ammo, so you should concentrate on the rocks first. Or, you know, beat them all up with like, oh, I don't know, Mega Quake. <laughs> Ow. This is why I use Chill Out. Can you imagine how much damage they would deal if I didn't? Okay. Time for a Yoshi cookie. Oh, it's adorable! I need to use more items anyways. Alright. Time to finish them! Thank you, Quick Change. Cooper, please use Power Shell. Only four damage? But he deals five di Oh, that's just stupid. Ow. <laughs> I do like how they just lick you, though. <laughs> it looks like they're laughing when you kill them. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so Power Shell is not even that great anymore. Oh, I need to equip Money Money. Alright, what do I not need? I want Quick Change, that's for sure. Not First Attack. I don't really need Power Bounce for this area, nor Jump Charge. This is not only Mega Smash for these guys. Alright. <laughs> also, Bomb Back could come in. Uh, actually, I think Cooper will be better. These guys are tough. So I'll show off Cooper's newest ability, Fire Shell. Another tap left really quickly. Woohoo, yeah! Against ice enemies, that's really amazing. I'm not sure if that deals extra damage against culpits, though. I'll have to try that. Gotta get my, I gotta get my money. Also, letter behind there, Merlo at Shooting Star Summit. Sweet. Alright, I'll get out Goombario now, because we're in for one tough mini-boss. Turn back, come no farther. 
Turn away or I'll eat you. What do you think? Scary monster, aren't I? You know when to run. Better fight. What? You will regret this. Yeah, this is one tough mini boss. Monstar. This is monster. I even I don't know what it is. I don't know why, but it looks really terrifying. I get the funny feeling I had a nightmare about it. Max HP 20, defense power 0. I don't know its attack power, but it must be very powerful judging by its looks. Yeah, you won't believe how much damage he'll do. One damage. Yeah, no joke! Are you scared yet? That's a highly amusing mini boss. I like it. <laughs> and we get 13 star points from it. That's pretty good. No, run away! It was actually just a bunch of star kids. I feel bad. It's like I could just beat up a bunch of twinks. Ah, you're Mario, yes? Thank you for coming. How do you do? I'm called Merle. I care for the star kids born here in Starborn Valley. There are many things I must tell you. But not here. Come, let's go to my house. I cannot concentrate out here in the cold. This way, please follow me. I must apologize for the rude reception of the Star Kids. None of us expected that you'd come here so quickly. They frightened strangers to try to keep this valley safe from Bowser's followers. Please, you must forgive them. Yeah, of course. Come in, please. Now, Mario, you must heed well what I'm about to tell you. This frozen area is called Starborn Valley. It is named this because it is here that the stars are born and raised before rising to the sky. But now, ever since Bowser stole the Star Rod from Starhaven, the power that of this place is weakened and Star Kids have found themselves unable to rise up into the sky. I sent a ninji to my father, Merlin, who, hoping that I could coax you to come here, because I have found out that where the last Star Spirit is. It came to me in a dream, a vision of the last Star Spirit begging me for help. If my vision speaks truly, then the last Star Spirit is being held atop Shiver Mountain, which lies to the north. Up top sits Crystal Palace. The Star Spirit waits there. The Crystal Palace was originally built to honor the stars, but as time passed, it slowly faded from the memories of the local people, and now no one can remember how to reach the palace. There is a way, though, and it involves items that have been passed down in these lands. Here, take this. We get the scarf, an ordinary scarf from Merle and Starborn Valley. The scarf has been passed down through many generations of Starborn Valley. I wish I knew how to use it, but I do not. According to the legends, you must use this and another item that has been passed down in Shiver City. If you hope to open the way to the Crystal Palace, sadly, that's all I know. If things remain as they are, Star Kids will never again be able to rise to Star Haven. Such a fate would be awful. Please help them and expel Bowser from the sky. I will. And that's where we're going to leave it for today. Oh, no, not yet. Oh yes, Mario, I'd almost forgotten. There is supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along the path of the Crystal Palace. A legend has been handed down in this valley regarding the shrine's secret. Truth lies not only in the eyes, sometimes even walls may lie. Confusing, yes, but you must find this shrine and solve its mystery to reach the Crystal Palace. Please don't forget it. Now we're going to end the video off there. Thanks for watching, I'm Color 40. Tune in for the next episode. We will be exploring Starborn Valley and more of the Shiver region. Have a great day and God bless.